With the Grand National just three weeks away, I've come to Aintree to see how the race course, which gives us the people's race, is doing so much to give back to the local community. School children from Hope Primary School are here to attend just one of the many community projects run by Aintree Racecourse. So we're going to get some socks on, get some jackets on. Yeah? Right, just grab whatever colours you like, grab a... Just, not the hat, just put, just put the jackets on. Now they're having a go on the, on the equisizer, putting their jockey still skills to the test. And also, as part of their pony education day, they actually get the chance to kind of interact and ride a real pony. Now, I've been here before with children when they have this opportunity, and it's absolutely amazing. They, you know, their, their little faces light up. To be able to groom them and ride them is just absolutely fantastic. It's a unique opportunity, and they all really, really enjoy it. So, you know, hopefully it will spark an interest which will stay with them for, for a long time. And for many of them, I imagine it's the first ever time they've had the opportunity to do something. Absolutely. Like this. Most of them, it's the first time they've ever touched a, a, real, a real pony. It's worse than my hair, that one. Well, I'm a young ambassador for the programme, and it's great to be involved with a good initiative for the young children. So, um, I've been teaching all the kids on the exercise, and um, obviously how to tackle up and things like that. So, it's helping them along. It's great for the kids, as in they can learn outside of school. So obviously, they're enjoying it whilst learning. So, I think it's great for the kids. You're on the Grand National course itself now, stood by one of the most famous jumps. Oh, Bigger than you. Up there, look. I think it's quite big. Yeah. Yeah. Brook Park, a beach's brook. It's a real natural brook. It's all about engaging with the community. We've been for Aintree. We we're very fortunate to have an equestrian centre here. And we were doing some what we call pony education days. And this is just a bigger spin-off from just that, working start. with Behest. And basically racing as a whole. And it's all just working together to show what a fantastic a facility we have. And giving them an opportunity to see another world that perhaps they might not be fortunate to have. Other tours are organised for guests of the community that have a more historic flavour. The, the programme here today is a, a group of our um, Pass on the Memories uh, Dementia group. Who, it's a fantastic project that we deliver in partnership with Music Care and NHS Trust. We thought it would be great to get the, the Dementia group out today um, and take part in some, some reminiscent activities here. Straight away speaking to the historian, the remembering the jockeys, the, the, the horses um, and the races they, they love to watch. So, um, the, as I said, the impact is just massive and for hours afterwards when they, when they leave these sessions, they, um, the, the family member, you know, we've had many phone calls where the family members call us and says, you know, you've given me my dad back or you've given me mum back. Uh, thank you so much. And even if it only lasts, as I said, for a few hours, um, because it's a weekly thing that we operate, and hopefully we'll have more sessions here at Aintree, um, hopefully more and more people will benefit from that impact.